Hey guys, okay, I just wanted to make a quick video on this Wacker Newson WL32 I've got. Uh, so if you're having problems uh, not ha not getting full torque on the machine, like the machine feels like it uh, doesn't have full power, um, especially when you're in rabbit mode, two speed, and you can't get it to go full speed, you'll notice there's something weird going on. Uh, and also you'll see black puffs of smoke coming out of the exhaust when this particular issue is happening. Um, and you'll hear a whistling sound, which is actually the sound of the turbo uh, that you can hear. So just to, to clarify, I had this issue uh, today. There are no codes present on the dash. Um, I did have a little issue, so I was snow blowing, and that's obviously uh, takes a lot, a lot of uh, engine horsepower. Uh, and then the exhaust temperature got too hot, so I let it cool down. And then after that is when I had this issue. I started to back up and I found, after I took the blower off and everything, that it wouldn't go uh, full speed again. Almost had, like I had no torque. Uh, so you wanna check this hose. It's kind of hard to see, but here's the turbo. There's a hose right here, that's the start of it. It's about an uh, inch and a half around. And then it goes up and over and into the intake. It was right off, like it wasn't even attached back there. I wish you could see that better. There's the hose clamp for it right there. And that's actually the hose itself. I don't want to, right there. Um, that was right off. The hose actually blew right off and the hose clamp was just sitting there. So the reason you could hear the whistling uh, was because you basically have direct, you know, access to this turbo because it's just blowing the sound out of the tube. And the puff of smoke is probably just because you're not getting proper combustion. Every time you'd let off the throttle really quick, you could you get a puff of smoke. But anyway, I put that back on and uh, I had full torque and full power again with, uh, with no issues. So that's the second time that's happened to me. It happened to me last year. I didn't think to make a video of it, but if you have this machine and you're having that problem, it might save you, you know, a service call. Uh, this, these machines are a little bit finicky with these Perkins engines, but if you have no codes on the dash and no power, I'd definitely check that first. Thanks.